This is Peach Thrifty Hacks here. I'm so glad you joined me today. Today, I have been wanting to do this for quite a while, but before I get started on that, I do want to tell you I'm at my daughter's. I'm in their screened-in porch. There is a highway somewhere close by, and hopefully it doesn't get too loud, so we're going to give it a try. Um, I have some notes here that I've written that um, I was thinking about doing um, a, a glimpse in my life. I haven't said an awful lot about myself. I've, I've been doing videos for, what, maybe two and a half, three months? Not very long. Um, my husband passed away in August, and of course I miss him every day, but I'm so glad he's with Jesus now, so that gives me a lot of comfort. Um, so what I was thinking about is starting to tell you a little bit about where I came from and my life. Um, my, I'm, like I said, my notes here. Um, it began in, in Oklahoma. I was not born there, but my parents were born there. They knew each other there and got to know each other and I guess became engaged. Before, before I start on that part, I do want to tell you that my dad came from 18 children, his um, mom and dad, only one mama, only one daddy, they had 18 children. That's a lot of kids. And he was number four on their list. And um, um, when I've been told that when my grandma and grandpa were going together that he told my grandma that he wanted to have a baseball team. Well, I think 18 is on a baseball team, if I'm not mistaken. You uh, sports fans will know that well, way better than me. They had all boys till number nine was a girl. They had, that was their first girl. Can you imagine? Keep having those babies and, well, we finally got a girl at number nine. Um, they, so they had 12 boys and six girls. Two, one of the little girls died um, very young, and the other, I believe, was about eight or nine, and I don't remember the reason for their death. This was back in Oklahoma in the um, harder times than we were having now. In the, um, um, my mom and dad came to uh, California in the late 30s, so that gives you an idea, it was before that. Um, my grandpa was, um, and I don't know that he did all these at the same time, of course a farmer to keep the family fed and all. He was also a circuit riding preacher. He was a storekeeper. And um, let's see, I said something else. Um, oh, I did say farmer, okay. So fast forward to the late 30s and then my mom, remember my dad and mom already knew each other. My mom's family moved to California, somewhere north of, um, of Sacramento, and they settled there in a little town. And first they lived in a tent, and then after that they built a little home. And my dad worked on, I think, the Shasta Dam up there in near Redding. And um, he, his, his, um, he became a carpenter. Uh, not a finished carpenter, but um, I don't don't know the exact word for that, but a carpenter. And so he worked on several places um, there. Um, so they ended up having my oldest sister and my brother, and then they moved to the town, the little town my mom, my grandma and grandpa lived in, and they found a house with one acre on it for. Five hundred dollars. Well, they bought that house, and they um, it was very little. In fact, uh, it had an outhouse, but I understand it had a little bathroom also. The bathroom was so little that you could go in there. I remember this because I was little. They did eventually change it to a bigger um, bathroom and took some room from some of the bedrooms just to, it was three bedrooms one 
back back um, no hallways or anything in this little house um, you could sit on the stool put your feet on the little entrance to the shower and to your left just barely you could uh, wash your hands that was our little bathroom shower and it was we had some good times there um, mama never worked outside the home she and she didn't drive I understand somewhere in her life she did drive a little bit my whole growing up years she did not drive and she was a homemaker she made her food and she trained us I mean she was she cooked for us and I mean of course had us we we had our chores we did the dishes washed um, washed and dried cleaned the kitchen up um, we had our ironing we washed at one time earlier we had the the ringer washer that was uh, interesting and uh, we had a little uh, washroom right outside our kitchen that we had the double sinks and we could just do any washing there and of course we didn't have any dryers we hung it all on the line so that was some some of the things I I still hang on to these days um, let's see if I'm not forgetting anything I kind of let me double back just a tad and say one of my trips that my dad and one of the trips my dad came out to California he hopped a train to get out here and then when they got ready to buy that house he had had a um, horse or a cow or something he'd been raising in in Oklahoma and he had one of his uh, brothers or family sell that where he could buy this home and I don't know how much he got but that, that helped by the property that he had so okay so now let's see I told about that okay and oh I was gonna say then my brother and sister were born and then then my next sister that's 14 months older than me and then myself and um, I was born there in the same place and um, I always said my mom didn't have um, they didn't none of them had time to spoil me because they were so busy with all of the children at that time and my mom and dad were wonderful we went to church all of our lives uh, we had a church around the corner from us and um, we went there Sunday morning Sunday night Saturday night and Wednesday night and if there was anything else going on we would go there then I think that's where I'm going to stop today. I don't know that any of you will be interested in this, but if nothing else, it will be a little um, memory to my children someday, and my grandchildren maybe. So I hope you will share this if you think somebody would like it. And if you're not interested in this subject, there's quite a few more. We have music here, we have uh, cooking here, we have um, just several things, cleaning tips, um, um, all kinds of things so just check me out go go back if, if this if you just happened by here today just go back and check this out and check some of my my videos and if you would like and subscribe I sure appreciate it and God bless you I am a Christian I love Jesus with all my heart and that's my goal to be a light to the world and make people um, happy make them feel good and know that uh, someday we're going to be with Jesus in heaven. God bless you today. And come back.